All new at 11 now, a local family is sharing their story after losing two family members last week due to an accident on the beach. A dad and his 10 year old daughter got caught in a rip current offshore on Pasa Grill Beach. And as ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon finds out, the family now hopes their story educates others on the dangers of rip currents. Michael Stevens and his 10 year old daughter Isabella died after getting stuck in a rip current on Pasigro Beach more than a week ago. The Coast Guard located them a half mile off the coast. I just started to freak out like I couldn't really breathe. It was like the worst phone call you can imagine getting and it was coming true. Destiny Stevens says her sister Isabella always went by the name Bella. She loved riding her bike and McDonald's. The beach was her happy place. So I got to the hospital and it was only about 10 minutes after I got there that the doctor had come in and announced, you know, their deaths. And that was really hard for all of us. Um, there was just a lot of screaming, crying, hugging. Jesse Johnson was with the family at the beach. He was able to swim out of the rip current and save his girlfriend, too, who is one of Isabella's sisters. So I did my all that I could in my power to get Brittany to safety. And by the time I got her to safety, I went to go back out for Michael and Isabella, and it was too late for me. The community may help the family with funeral expenses by donating on a GoFundMe page. To anyone that has donated, I want to say thank you. Um, it does mean a lot. It's helping us out a lot, and we, we do appreciate it. Information on rip currents is listed on the website for St. Pete Beach. First, don't panic. Swim parallel to the shoreline. When out of the current, get to shore. If you can't swim out of the current, float or tread water. Knowing that I didn't know what a rip current was, I know it's going to save other lives. People are going to research and they're going to be more informed on them. Destiny hopes by sharing her family's tragedy, it might save someone else's life. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.